A new device implanted in the body could help save the lives of those who are struggling with heroin and prescription painkiller addictions. News Channel 5's Emily Luxon has more information on a new option just approved by the FDA. It's new at 10. You feel dirty, you feel um, shameful, you feel hurt um, because it's, it's not something you want people to know about. John Maybury's addiction to pain medication started after a car accident, forced him to endure multiple surgeries. She was so below the knee. And eventually have his leg amputated. I had access to, to pain pills as many as I needed, and it, it sent me on a over 10 year journey of struggling to, to, to get to a point where I could where I needed to reach out and ask for help. Staff at addiction campuses in Brentwood counsel people like John every day. Director of Public Relations Brian Sullivan says a new device just approved by the FDA coupled with treatment could go a long way in helping people. We think it's great. It's a good step in the right direction to help curb op opioid abuse and to help fight this epidemic. The first of its kind implant is placed under the skin. It slowly releases an existing drug that helps treat opioid addiction. It's designed to curb cravings and withdrawal symptoms and help patients avoid relapses that can happen if they forget to take their medication. Sullivan says the timing is good because in 2014, 129 people in Davidson County died from opioid overdoses and numbers continue to climb. People need to realize that this is happening all around them and bury the stigma that's associated with it. That person is not a bad person. They need help. John still battles pain every day, but says with support from his colleagues at addiction campuses, the future is full of possibilities. Let me just try to get through today and deal with today's problems today and worry about tomorrow or tomorrow. So um, if, I can just, if I can just stay healthy today, I'm doing pretty good. In Brentwood, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5. Now, we should mention critics of the drug say results are unproven and could be very expensive. Doctors will be required to undergo special training on how to insert and remove the implant. About 2,200 health care providers across the country have already signed up for that training.